you you know that I got my start right outside there. I was on the show, hold your applause to the end, called uh, Three's Company and the Ropers. Yes. Right. Big fan over there, Mr. Reginald Watts. Our rehearsal hall was right there. Right. When I got nervous, I would pace up and down these um, right here uh, uh, because I got very nervous doing um, three camera. Three camera's hard. It's not like theater. My dad was a you know, typical middle-class Jewish guy, very nervous about his son becoming an actor. He came in at this huge dressing room, not, not mine particularly today. I said, Dad, you comfortable? And he said, yeah. And I said, uh, Dad, and I pointed to my refrigerator, <laughs> and I said, would you like a Diet Coke? And he said, you have a Diet Coke? And I said, yeah, I have many Diet Cokes. And I, he said, now let me get this straight. You have your own Diet Coke? And I said, yeah. And he said, and uh, I said, we'd like one. And he said, and I'll never forget this. And he said, now, you don't have to share this Coke with anybody, right? Which I remember, that is so emblematic of how people grew up hard, you know, because they always had to share clothes and they had to show, they had to share everything. And then my, uh, my dresser, Len Marcus came in and he, he played it up rather than say, hey, come on. He said, Mr. Tambor, they want you on stage 40 now. And I went, oh, thank you, Mr. Marcus. And then he put my coat on. So I put my coat on and he put it. And then I had a cigarette and he lit my cigarette. Cut to, we look into the sofa and my dad is crying. He's weeping because his son, you know, had a Diet Coke and someone was lighting a cigarette. So he was gonna be fine. So it's a real honor to be here uh, today, except for the small dressing room, <laughs> which is small. Odd how life is, you go from, uh, you are less successful and you get a bigger dressing room and then you get more successful in the smaller dressing room. Go figure, thank you.